Princess Diana's former biographer Andrew Morton has stated his belief that the a lot of water that's got to go under the bridge before they reconcile from their rift. The author of Diana. Her true story told royal expert the insiders Michaela Friel that Prince Harry and Prince William have not yet put their differences aside, despite showing a united front during the unveiling ceremony of Diana's statue. Ms. Friel said, It's a difficult one because their press teams are famously very tight-lipped on personal matters, they won't reveal any contents of private conversations between the brothers, but we do know that they had that interaction at the statue unveiling and they did seem to be on good terms. They were pictured talking, laughing, and everyone has an opinion on it. I recently interviewed Andrew Morton, who you may know as Diana's biographer, but his opinion was very strong and he said that he felt that the family had a very long way to go before there was any kind of reconciliation. So although these big press events are drumming up the support and everyone wanting them to you know, put the differences aside, he believes it might not be so simple. That is just one opinion but it is worth bearing in mind considering everything that's been going on in the past few months with the Oprah interview and all of these stories that have come out. Speaking to Ms. Friel in April, Mr. Morton said. There's a general feeling in the media and amongst the public that we'd like to see them reconciled. So everybody, whether it's true or not, is grasping at any kind of straws of reconciliation and building a straw house of hope, Morton, author of Elizabeth and Margaret, told Insider. I think there's a lot of water that's got to go under the bridge before those two and their father are reconciled. You don't say that your brother's trapped and your father's trapped in the institution which you were born into, and expect everyone to be all sweet.